and welcome back to the Reapers. So another setting controls video, this one for the Hawk. So this one should be pretty easy. The Hawk doesn't have a massive amount of controls and I've just put a basic setup to get it uh, working and the other controls for weapons and stuff I've left basically as touchable controls, clickable controls in the cockpit. You may choose to add them to your HOTAS but that's up to you. So I'll show you how I bind them to my HOTAS. Mine is an X56 Cytec Rhino. Yours will almost certainly be different but as I do it, I'll explain whereabouts on the HOTAS I'm binding each control, and if you like, then you can have a similar setup as me, and that will help. If you watch the educational videos, or sorry, the tutorial videos that I do, then that will probably help later on. In addition, as I always say, if you've got multiple planes, it's best to keep a uniform setup throughout your plane. So, for instance, if you have a setup for, uh, sorry, a button for landing gear or flaps, say, that you have in one plane, then through all of your planes keep that button universal so each plane is as similar to the other and it just saves confusion later on and it's really worth doing right okay let's move on so we're going to click options up here uh, we will go this menu here and choose which plane we need to do so we're going to choose the hawk along the top here we've got our tabs so we're going to go to controls we're already on the controls and the way this works is we've got the action here action command there uh, we've got the keyboard command here that's bound to the action. We've got the left part of the HOTAS because the HOTAS comes in a left and a right section. You know, a thrust stick on the left and a joystick on the right. So we've got the left HOTAS here and we've got the right HOTAS here. Now, I've already set my controls, obviously, so I'm basically going to go over it again and tape over the top of them and tell you what I'm doing as I go. So as with all of my planes, we start with the axis controls. So we're going to this menu here to choose categories and axis. Okay, and the first thing we're going to start off with is zoom control, zoom view. So this allows you to zoom in and zoom out. It basically simulates kind of squinting your eyes and focusing on, on something. It's something you will need set, otherwise you're going to really struggle to fly. So on my uh, HOTAS on the left thrust stick, I've got like a turning knob which I can turn with my thumb and that's what I set. So this is the left HOTAS column here. So I'm going to double click on that cell there with the left mouse button, pow. And it comes up here, and now I'm going to turn that knob to its full extent, and it should pick it up. And there you can see it's picked it up. Okay. Now I just test that. You can see it working there. That's done. Next is thrust. We've only got one engine in this plane, so we can leave both. I've got a uh, thrust split, a splitter in my thrust stick, so I can move two separately, but we only need one, so we're going to keep them unsplit. So we're going to double click on that there. I'm going to move the thrust lever for its full range of motion. Okay, and then test it lovely next is the rudder over here we're moving to the right stick this time here so we're going to double click here uh, you can have pedals or I don't have pedals because my feet aren't very good so I have the right stick and I can twist it so I'm going to have that and twist it left twist it right you can see it's picked it up okay test it Pion. lovely and uh, because this is an axis control on the control stick of which there are three we want to we want to set an axis tune to it so select highlight that cell click axis, axis tune here and we don't need a dead zone because the red dot is inside the black square if the red dot is outside of the black square then um, you would need to put some dead zone on but we don't have to do that here but we do need curvature uh, this is basically ad uh, actually reduces the sensitivity of the stick near to its neutral position and it's what you want if you want to do fine movements like formation flying and, and uh, air to air refueling you'll need to add some curve how much curve you add is really up to you I stick to 25 throughout all of my air aircraft keep them again all the same uniformity is the best way of learning the easiest way of learning okay so that's that Okay, so next let's go to roll, let's double click there, and we're going to move our control stick fully left, fully right, let's pick that up, okay, test it, and tune it, it's in the back box so we don't need a dead zone, we do need a curvature of 25, pow, okay, next is pitch, so double click that, move the stick forwards and backwards, okay, test, tune, just inside the black box, 25 please. Okay, that's our axis commands done. So now let's start on the left side of the HOTAS, um, the thrust stick. So the first thing I'm going to want to do uh, is go to search on here. So it allows us to track down our commands 
by typing things in. Um, this is something you may not be interested in, but it's something I like to set in all of my planes. I like to set Snap View 5 up, and there's a particular button I have in all of my aircraft, Snap View 5. Um, it, it allows you to zoom into your HUD. If you have bad eyes like me, you'll need to zoom in to actually read the HUD, because I can't actually read the HUD normally. So um, I'm going to double click there. I use that button there on the left uh, on the left hotels. Okay, that's that. Uh, next, we want our button that we use for flaps. So let's delete that. Flaps. Uh, I'm not sure what the brackets joystick one is, but we don't want to use that. We want detent. Detent is what we want. Um, so we've got three flap settings, and the detent allows you to essentially cycle up through them and or cycle down through them. So I've got a two-way switch on my left hotel, which I use for flaps up and flaps down. So uh, now I always forget which way is previous and next. I think that one there. Next is is downwards, basically. So going downwards, the more detents you do next, the more flaps down you are. The more flaps previous you are, the more flaps up you are. That kind of makes sense. So that's set my usual two controls there. Next is air brake. There he is. That's a bit annoying on the Hawk. I uh, prefer planes when they have an up and a down option. This just has a toggle switch. Um, so it's a little bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. So air brake, we're going to set as... I've got a two-way switch for this, so I'll just set the um, the on setting, if you like, the out setting that I usually use. And in fact, there's no harm at all in, uh, in setting two controls. I could also set my off setting, so that if I forget that it's a toggle switch when I drive the Hawk, um, it'll allow me to essentially use it properly, still using the two buttons, if that makes any sense at all. So that's that. Uh, what else have we got in the Hawk? Um, how do you nose wheel steer? It does not have nose wheel steering, it has free caster nose wheel. So you have to steer it by actually using the left wheel brake and right wheel brake. It's very annoying, uh, but that's just how this plane was manufactured. So, um, uh, wheel brake, there we go, is that it? Yep, got left and right. So first of all, wheel brake on. Um, so this is both wheel brakes, and I've got it, well, uh, my usual command is on the right hotas for this. So let's get that done. That's when I have all of my aircraft. And then we've got left and right brake. So left brake is going to be on our left hotas here, and I've got an iron switch on the base of the hotas here that I'm going to use for left. And as a backup as well, I've got a two-way switch. Now, I usually use this two-way switch on the actual thrust lever itself for chaff and fair dispense. There are no countermeasures on this jet. So as a backup, I'm going to set the up and down um, function on this switch as nozzle steering. It might be slightly easier to use when on the runway. So there we go. And right wheel brake. First of all, the iron switch. And secondly the chaff command. Um, probably the hardest thing about the Hawk is keeping it straight on the runway uh, with these uh, wheel brake uh, so you lose rudder authority at about 60 knots or something like that and then you'll have to keep it straight with these wheel brakes so it takes a little bit of practice but that's okay. Uh, that is my left hoe test done unless it has an auto start function which it probably does so let's go here and search auto. Uh, there it is auto start always worth binding in case you're in a hurry or whatever so I've got an iron switch at the top right of this the base of the left hotas and the auto stop and that's the left hotas done let's move on to the right hotas so first things first let's go for some weapons right so I'm back in the search here let's type in weapon let's come up with everything we need we've got a gun trigger there we're going to set to trigger one on the right joystick okay then we've got weapons release for the bombs and rockets and stuff which we're going to have as trigger two in there and that's that done uh, next we're going to need some trimming, all planes will need trimming, very important, let's uh, search that, and we've got the usual trims, we've got left wing down, we've got a four way switch on the top right of the right HOTAS control stick we're going to use, so uh, it's got four movements essentially on it, and then we've got a down, we've got an up, and we've got a right wing down, Pew. that's that. Right, so that is everything set up for the Hawk. Like I said, it's very basic, just flight there, flights, commands, wheel brakes, and some triggers. Um, there are extra options you can add in the weapons control panel and stuff like that, but I like to actually go in and click the buttons and stuff like that on, on the uh, 
actual touchable you know copy because it's cool and more fun right hope that was useful and we'll see you later